Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. Today I have week 11 of my 2020 Project Life album here for you. I am using the Studio Calico March Documenter Kit. This is a subscription service and I'll have that link down below. So once the month passes, um, you can't access the kit anymore. Um, I do have a post-it note that I use to label all of my weeks in my album because I don't usually get to it right away. So if that if I have ephemera or some paperwork that I want to include in my project life, I know where um, to put it in my album. So I put my photos in semi-chronological order, and then I go through the Studio Calico journaling cards and filler cards to see where I want to put them. And I'm using the Felicity Jane Madison Alpha to put number 11 on that butterfly card. The 3x4 card on the very left hand side is always my title card. Now I'm using the One Canoe 2 date stamp. I love the small font on this stamp and I'm using the Black Stays on Ink to stamp on my photos. Now I'm going through and looking through my kit and I'm trying to count how many letters can fit across a photo. And this photo is of my dad and my daughter. He had come to visit soon after my um, mother's memorial. and the three of us went to breakfast and the name of the restaurant is snooze it's one of my favorite breakfast places here in san diego and they have the best um, french toast it's called omg french toast so my dad had it for the first time that day doesn't he look great he's such a young 75 he's so active too now here's a picture of my daughter that i took and it's um of her doing a chin stand and this is during her private lesson and I just wanted to take a picture of that and it's a it's a screenshot from the video that I record for her private lesson and I'm just amazed at how well she does I mean for five years old it, I'm I'm amazed but I'm not a dancer so I don't know what to compare it to <laughs> so I use the label from the Felicity I mean from the studio calico kit to just document chin stand now on this journaling card I wrote Shireen scheduled for our family to receive a meal train three times a week. Shaw brought the first meal over, enough for two dinners. I'm so grateful for these friends. And then I date stamp it with the One Canoe Two date stamp. Now this photo right here is a photo of my daughter. She decided all of a sudden that she wanted to get her ears pierced. And she's so determined and um, strong-headed that uh, once she makes a decision, we went the next day. Now I'm taking the wood veneer stamp, I mean wood veneer heart, excuse me, and I just use my rollers, roller adhesive, which is the Kokio, which is my favorite, and I just adhere that to the photo of my daughter doing the chin stand. Then I'm going to the right hand side of the layout, and on this journaling card I wrote, yesterday Kaya all of a sudden announced that she wanted her ears pierced. This after saying she was too scared that it would hurt too much. I'm not even sure what made her change her mind. So today we went to Claire's. She made me promise to get my ears pierced first. So I got my seconds and a cartilage piercing. Then she got hers pierced. She picked pearls over diamonds and she was so brave. And for this journaling, I like to use my Zebra Sarasa Vintage Dark Gray ink pen. And the reason I like to use dark gray ink instead of black is it's not as stark. So it just kind of does better blending with my layouts. Here's a picture of her um, with a lollipop and a crown after she got that done. I'm using one of the acetate butterflies that came with the kit and I'm going to put it onto the 3x4 card by using a tiny attacher and just attaching it right in the body of the butterfly. I'm sure there's a word for it, but I don't remember my biology very well. Now these are flowers I got from my girlfriend Fran. I did end up going to a crop that weekend right before social distancing was um, enforced. I was supposed to go to a planner con that weekend, but I decided not to fly. But I just went close to my house, um, well, an hour and a half away from my house. That way, if uh, social distancing was mandated, which it was on that Sunday, then I would just come home. So I'm writing, last minute, decided to go to a crop this weekend. We also went to Michael's for a little field trip, and I got some brush markers. 
um, and that's the picture right there on the bottom left hand corner. I wanted to get some brush markers to use in my Hobonichi uh, planner. And then on Sunday, we played left, right, and center. Also got a lot of layouts down, done and recorded. Now to go home and edit and do voiceovers. So there you have my layout. Now I'm going to go through the embellishments to see what I can use because I always focus on the photos and words first and then I try to go and do some embellishments. So there were some stickers that came with this kit and the one that says, let your worries fly away, I put on the one of the brush markers. It says, happy days, happy days, happy days on the one with my daughter and the lollipop. The heart sticker where my daughter is trying not to cry. <laughs> And then I put yum on the dinner that my girlfriend made for us. Now I'm looking at the stamp set and wondering if I can use any of the stamps. Um, I rub my fingers across it and I'm using the stays on because I'm going to be stamping on photos. And this one says mindset is everything. And I put that on the photo of my daughter trying not to cry. But she is so um, strong headed and when she makes a decision she sticks to it. Hopefully this means that she won't give in to peer pressure or negative peer pressure, I should say. I also take a butterfly and I'm going to staple that onto that picture of my daughter and me. And I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.